and I think when we when we moved the four stroke, everyone thought, oh, oh wow, not going to do half as many gearboxes, not going to do having got all the engine stuff, but you end up just changing engines all the time. And gearboxes, we just, just pull we, the full unit out. As yeah, such. yeah, but you end up rotating them around mm. <clears throat> because the engines, you know, you got certain mileage on them, so you keep the good ones in there for the races. So you end up rotating engines around a lot, but. It was different at the beginning of the four-stroke era because we had unlimited engines, yeah. and they were just being changed all. I mean, all the time. We, that that we, first year of the 990, Jesus, some money must have been spent. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, totally. Yeah, unlimited engines. We did. I remember because uh, David Brivio, that guy's, you know, everyone knows him from Suzuki. He was our team manager there. We tried to cut a deal with them to, to pay us just for engine changes. Really? We did so many. Yeah, yeah. We, seriously, we said, look, just pay us. X amount of money for each engine change because yep. we did something like 100 engine changes in the year. 